So can you walk us through, um, you know, a typical project, like the, the J Japanese nuclear plant that you cite in the article? Um, you know, what, what are the warning signs that we should be looking for to predict when something is likely to just go completely bad? Well, the first thing uh, would be inadequate planning up front. That's really the most important thing. I have a slogan that is uh, think slow, act fast. So, you know, Kahneman's, Danny Kahneman's book, Thinking Fast and Slow. Uh, it's a fantastic book. Anybody who hasn't read it, which I think is only a few people, but if you're one of those few, go read it. Uh, well, he actually that, cites you. He says you, you're you're one of you. Have, you are the author of one of the single most important pieces of advice uh, in forecasting. Period. And he actually puts that in the book, which I thought was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me too, obviously. But <laughs> <laughs> that's not why I'm mentioning it. I'm mentioning it because this think think uh, uh, thinking fast and slow is really important. But it's only about thinking. And when you do projects, make a project, you need to think about acting, delivery too, right? It's not only about thinking. So you want the thinking to be slow, exactly as Kahneman advises. And you're, if you haven't thought slow, you can't expect the success. It's simple as that. If you've been thinking fast, which is common, people jump to solutions way too early. They, they jump on a specific technology. They say, this is what we're going to build. We're going to build a bridge. You know, they, they don't think about there are different ways to connect an island to the mainland. They just immediately jump to a bridge or, uh, you know, or other technologies, um, uh, uh, if you're talking about uh, software or IT systems, very quickly people start to talk about the solutions instead of talking about the problem. So you need slow thinking. Mm -hmm. And the key thing you need to ask in, in slow thinking is why, 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 why are we doing this project? You need to spend a lot of time on that in order to find out what the goal is and then make sure that that goal is directing you all the way through. So mm -hmm. take whatever time it takes and planning is cheap, you know, this is just thinking and using computers and models, whatever, you know, is the right medium in the area that you're in. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, this is something I discussed with uh, Ed Catmull, a uh, former CEO at Pixar. This is the way they do it at Pixar. Ed Catmull says, I don't care how long the developers take to develop a Pixar movie. They're actually allowed to muck around for years because it's cheap. But... As soon as we go out and we start, uh, you know, developing the film itself, I was going to say shooting, but it's not exactly shooting, but it's animation. But still, you you have many more people on it. It's much more uh, binding. And you actually have stars with their voices. You have music, you have scores and everything. It becomes many times more expensive per day that you are, are working on the film. So therefore, according to Ed Catmull, you want to spend as much time in planning and development, as you call it, in filmmaking as possible. So you have a rigorous uh, plan and product before you start filming. 